They came in the numbers, arriving on border borders, in taxis and on foot, racing to the terminus and past the security check, tickets in hand, to catch the train. In the weeks since the launch of the Madaraka Express, this mode of transport has quickly gained popularity. The lounge filling as travellers wait for the doors to be opened. They have quickly learned that the daily morning trains from Mombasa and Nairobi leave at 9 sharp. The train waits for no one, passengers arriving bright and early in order to find their places and those who arrive at the last minute must make the dash or be left behind. And with a hoot and a whistle, the train to Mombasa is off. There are 15 coaches on each train, three of these first class, taking 72 passengers each, while the others are economy class coaches with 118 passengers in each coach, meaning the train takes about 1,500 passengers on each trip. A first class ticket costs 3,000 shillings, while an economy class ticket costs 700 shillings. And still on Friday, every seat on the train was booked. Most of these passengers travelling for leisure while satisfying their curiosity about the train. So I wanted first of all to see the train itself, experience how it is. They have said it's faster. That one I can confirm. We just wanted to try the train actually. Yeah, to see how it functions and how it is, how the chairs look like and the, the train itself actually. Nikaamua baada ya kuchukua modern coast to kutoka Migori ni kuje paka Nairobi ni pande hii ni onje kidogo nisikie utamu yake. You know 700 you can afford two times kwenda na kurudi. If you get 1400 unaenda Mombasa ukae mahali tena ngoje asubuhi urudi. The novelties on the train include bathroom facilities and sockets, the journey a way to make memories with friends and family. The layout in economy class with seats facing each other means there is no room for isolation. The first class is more spacious with rotating seats. Less than an hour into the ride, Hangapang strike. Passengers lining up to purchase snacks at the Seoul restaurant car. A sandwich costs 250 shillings here, a cup of tea 100 shillings. Others choose to wait for the food trolley to come around. The menu, some complain, isn't varied enough. They should give us menu, alafu mutu anaitisa ile anaweza kwa afford. Kama ni chai na mkate. Kama ni ugali na dengu, au matumbo, au na omena, ugali na omena, hii safari ni ndefu. But it has only been a week since the SGR train service began, and there are kinks to be ironed yet. A discovery that quickly dawned on first class passengers. I was also expecting like uh, there is a check in line for the VIP or uh, first class passengers. It's also lacking. I was expecting the food here. Nothing happened. I expect the trolley never arrived, so I went to queue. Mm, Wi-Fi. Further, the online ticketing service is not yet up, and tickets do not carry the names of travellers. Teething problems that are shelved temporarily as the passengers experience the wonder of the interchange in Ntito and Day as the Mombasa-bound train stops to allow the Nairobi-bound train to pass it. Very, very cool. I guess that's in Degasasa. See train tena. The scenery changing as the train goes past Savo, giving travelers a generous view of herds of elephants. elephant, At exactly 1.34, four hours, 34 minutes after departure, the train arrives at its destination. In Mombasa, passengers seeking transport through the traffic snala from the Miritini terminus. What was charged to Nairobi back hapa? 700. Ujo ulipe mia. Sokuma ulipe mia. It's the same, it's like 1,000 shillings. While passengers arriving in Nairobi at the very same time have found a simple solution, officials ushered them to the old Siokimao railway station. The old train cutting through Nairobi traffic to drop them in town, even as buses and border borders line up for the others. It is brisk business. For passengers going a longer distance, a new idea, this matatu waiting for travelers headed to Nyeri. <laughs> 
the week since it started operations, the Madaraka Express has done 18 trips. There are plans to introduce two more trains that will stop at seven stations between Nairobi and Mombasa. Mombasa, if you can make a quick pit of a busia, it copies to ski or to a barra to ski or to work. While there is still work to be done, the train is already changing the way people travel. Wilkinson Abo, Citizen TV.